right, guys. Um, another video for you today. It's a bit of a strange one for me. I don't usually do this sort of thing, but basically, the whole family's on quite new tech now, what I'd call new tech. And this is my son's old phone. It's a Q-Bot. Um, don't know if you can see, but the screen screen is cracked but anyway it works let me turn it on cube there's the crack see the crack across the screen but it works fine anyway what this video is about this video is about how to turn turn your old android device so i'm going to I'm going to use this one for this video, but I do have a Google Nexus um, that we don't use anymore. And I'm going to probably use that full time because it's got a bigger screen. But for this video, I'm just going to use this. Right. So what you're going to have to do, guys, is you're going to have to hop on to Google Play and download a couple of apps, which I will show you now. And when we've done that, we'll come back here and talk a bit, and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, okay, guys, so here we go. Go, whichever browser you want, type in Google Play, or if you're on, well, you'll be doing this probably on your device. Um, yeah, you'll be doing this on your device. Whichever your device is, which you want to use as the camera, so obviously... I was using this. You want to go on your device to Google Play. It's just easier for me to show you on the big screen. Type in IP camera. It's this one. IP webcam by Pavel. And I can't pronounce his surname. But this one. This app here. See I've got it installed. IP webcam by Pavel Klebovich get that now if you just want to use your thing as a webcam that's enough you don't need anything else but if you want to be able to view your camera from over the net let's say you're on holiday or something like that or you're at work and you want to view your house so you need to view it over the internet you need to get this i video i think it was there i video I've Dion, i Dion, yeah. And you need to get this one as well, and that's that one. And the two work together, okay? What this will do, it'll allow you to view your camera over the cloud. But you don't need this one unless you want to view it from outside your home, outside your local network. So yeah, install that one as well. That's by Mobile Video Solutions, Video Surveillance, i Vidion. Okay. When you've done that, you want to go onto your device. So I guess I'm going to show you guys this back up closer with my webcam. Um, yeah, I'll see you back in a minute, guys. Okay, guys. So we've downloaded the software. I want you to turn your device on. I want you to. I want you to open up. Okay. What you must do, connect your device to the internet. Okay, your Wi Fi, obviously. Alright. Now you need to find the app IP camera. There it is. Click on. Click on the app and it's opening up IP camera. Now there's lots of settings. You can you guys can play around with the settings. There's settings for quality, there's video preferences, there's effects, there's network settings, there's all sorts. But basically uh, the settings to keep the phone on, 
if you're using a phone to stop it turning off to say that oh God, there's a massive amount of settings I might go into this on another video but this is just a simple video for starters scroll straight down to the bottom right down at the bottom you're gonna see it says start server that bottom not the flashing one the bit above start server the one that's here hit start server right now it's going to open up and there you go you can actually see me on the uh, on the camera now I don't know if you can see it but it'll t it tells you the web address at the bottom there to put in that's going to be a LAN address put it in to your browser okay so mine's 192.168.0.11 and then port 8080 put it in exactly as it says on the bottom of your phone there I can't get it to bloody focus, hang on I think the phone's too bright for it to focus but yeah there's just a HTTP address at the bottom okay once you put that into the browser that's when it the magic happens so We'll hop over now to the browser. Right then guys, so we're back again. After you've done all that, you've started the server. You'll see yourself on the screen. Now I want you to put in the web address, so mine's. Yours will be something like this. And your port will, your colon and 8080, this part will probably be exactly the same as mine okay this bit but your first four digits will be a bit different anyway whatever it says just put it in and you'll come up to this screen now you can have audio and video I suggest you use the flash because it, right, do, using the flash does two two way audio basically so if you hit the flash for, the audio, flash for audio, audio and video, and video in fact, in fact, you can probably hear that on the video right now. You can probably you actually, can probably hear, me. actually hear me. Um, um, if I go down if here, I go hang on. Yeah, if I do yeah, that, if I do that, and I think it's one of them. Oh, here it is. Hang on. Oh, hang on. If I do this, the video will lose my. Um, Yeah, the video would have lost my voice. Basically, there's my cat eating. Another thing, can you see how that's dark? There's a setting down here for LED flashlight. I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, yeah, Hang on. I'll show you. From the app, you can also have overlays, which top right corner shows you the info there. You autofocus hold, night vision. I don't know how well it works. Probably depends on the phone. You can also flip the camera. Yeah, so that's my hand. But obviously, all this is happening on my local network, you know, at home. Um, there's the record button, and that can be set to record wherever. Anyway, guys, um, so yeah, this can be used. You could mount this in your living room. You go to work and um, you've got a webcam, CCTV camera, and there are my actual cams on the telly. That's my CCTV, but anyway, yeah, I'll catch you back up top, guys. Okay, guys, so this was kind of like a very, very, very quick look. I haven't even got into the eye. Um, God, I forgot what's it called. The other one I asked you to download. 
but that's to use it over the cloud and there's options in there to set that up. I'll do a video on that next time or comment down below if you want me to show you how to set it up so you can view over the internet because this is of course only over the LAN. Now we can set this up and there is certain software you can use um, to make it very easily viewable over the net and of course recording you don't have to record with the software if you've got say like I've got shadow play which will record my screen once I've got all this going I just hit shadow play and that records my screen for me but if you hit record in the software it will record to an SD card in your phone which I guess is a good thing as well but if you're viewing it over the internet let's say you're on holiday and someone breaks in they break in, steal your phone, your camera. If you're recording it on your laptop on holiday, even if they steal your phone, they haven't stolen the footage from you and you, they could be caught by the police or whatever. You know, you, you'd still have the footage if you were recording it on your PC. So I think that's quite a good thing. Um, there's lots and lots to show you guys. I, I, there's so much to show you. I I wouldn't. I don't even know where to start right now. But all that, that those little bits that I showed you there can all be done from the other side of the world. You know, the flashlight on and on, and the um, the settings and all sorts. Of, you know, it can be done from the other side of the world. It's it's quite an amazing software. And the fact that you're using well, I'm using an old phone to do this. You know, it's great. It was just in a drawer, so it's got some use. If you've got kids, if you've got a baby, for example, this would make a great baby monitor. Because it's two-way audio as well. You don't have to. You can turn the audio off, but it's two-way. So you can actually speak to someone through this. You know? You could actually mount this, I don't know, set up above your front door. When someone comes to your front door, you can see who it is and you can talk to them a bit like an intercom hi I'm on my way to the door or I'm upstairs in bed I'll be down in a minute I can see you know or to the postman hang on a second I'm coming down don't leave with my parcel sort of thing you know or if you were at work you could in fact tell the postman hi I can see you at the front door I'm at work, can you please leave the parcel with the neighbour? I mean, there's so many uses, guys. I'm not going to go on and on. I've just showed you very quickly how to set it up. Um, comment down below if you want to know kind of how to set the rest up and the best settings and all that good stuff. Okay, I'll catch you later, guys.